any way you want to, but you're going to do something if you're going to be successful. I've had the privilege of riding with a lot of great horsemen and horsewomen, and they might not call their little exercise four-part harmony like I do, but they're doing something to get control of those body parts. Control of the body parts, it, it's everything in horsemanship. And so I think about my horse's head and neck, and then I think about their shoulders, and then I think about their rib cage, and then I think about their hind end. If I pick up on my horse's face, does he say, yes, sir, what can I do for you? Or does he say, it's called a busy signal. You ever feel like you got a busy signal when you picked up on your horse's face? Can I just pick up on my horse's left rein and ask, me, ask him to give me his face and walk around here in a circle? As you progress in your horsemanship, we don't ask you, can you walk in a circle? We ask you, how do you walk in that circle? Can that horse give his face and bend his body? I think about, can I bump and release and bump and release? Is he yielding or is he resisting? Because you know what I'm thinking? I don't care how far he slides or how fast he spins or how many lean changes he can do. If he doesn't feel good in the face, you're not going to like it. So we're constantly, a lifetime endeavor, getting these horses soft in the face. When I pick up on these bridle reins and I drive him with my legs, he ought to pick up his back and get soft right there and yield and say, yes, what can I do for you today? Head and neck, I've got to have that control. And then I think about these shoulders. If I want to do any kind of high-level performance maneuvers, I've got to have control over these shoulders. I've got to be able to pick them up and move them over and out of the way. And so I'll put my horse in a counter bend and I'll walk him around in a circle, asking this left front foot to step over this right front foot. Now, I've preached to all my students that 90% of everything you do, their eyes tell you what's going on. The horse should be looking in the direction that he's going. This is in the 10% time. This is the one exercise where I'm going to put them in a counter band. Now, I don't want it to turn into a funky spin or a funky side pass. That means I need to keep forward momentum in here. I need to keep him walking forward. Now, if you go out tomorrow morning and see your horse in the pen walking around like this, you're going to call the vet. I think he's got a broken neck. Something's terribly wrong. But we'll do this for the sake of exercise. I've got to be able to lift up those shoulders. I've got to be able to move them out of the way. You've been riding along and your instructor told you or you knew it yourself, your horse was dropping his shoulder into the circle. You've got to have those shoulders picked up. We can do this once they understand the concept. We can do it at greater speeds and we'll just move those shoulders around. If I can get that kind of control, then I'll be able to make a lead change, then I'll be able to spin it and do all kinds of things, but I've got to have that control. Cool. After I get control of those shoulders, I've got to have control of this rib cage. I've got to be able to move it left and right. Now, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You don't even know me from a man on the moon. A lot of you don't. I don't want you to think ill of me. But I have business cards that said Richard Winters Horse Trainer Ride. And people were signing up and coming to my clinics. And I'd say, okay, let's all work on side pass. Come on out here. Let's all work on side pass. Okay, here we go. Let's all side pass. Side pass, side pass. And I did that for years, and I never wanted side pass. Now, I'm playing a semantic game with you. If you want to call it something else, that's just fine. But for me, once I began to understand, I was never side pass. You know what I was doing? I was just leg yield. My horse is going to the what direction? Left. He's looking which way? Looking to the right. Counter bend. In my mind, he's just leg yield. And now all my young horses are going to learn how to leg yield. And if all you need to do is open and close a gate or pick up your soda can off the fence, you might get along with leg yielding all your whole life. But to really understand what's going on in a horse's body, don't call it side passing. For me, side passing denotes straightness, where my horse is actually looking in the direction that he is going. This was so counterintuitive to me because I was quote unquote professional, doing it the other way for so long, lifting with my left rein and drawing it toward, towards my right shoulder. Or now when I go to the right, picking up my right rein and going towards my left shoulder and pushing him over. So in kindergarten, this was just fine, leg yield. But in high school, I want to pick that horse up and get him straight. So oh, what difference does it make? It don't. Just want to be a there's no matter of trail riding, but I had aspirations to get something more done until I got control of these body parts. I couldn't do it. And then finally, 